So you can start in a chair or on the ground. Go ahead and put your arm behind your thigh. Place the other hand right on what we call the tibial tuberosity. You can find this by first finding the kneecap or the patella. Moving just underneath that, you'll find kind of a squishier, what we call the patellar tendon there. And then that connects to this kind of bony prominence right here. That's the tibial tuberosity. Keep your fingers there. And what you're gonna try and do is rotate the foot inwards, so toe in, and you'll feel that that bone moves with. If that bone is moving in with that motion, then you're doing the right motion. Go as far as you can, and then extend the knee till you feel a stretch, come back down, then bring the toes out. You should feel the bone kind of fall with, extend the knee, and come back to center. And then you just keep repeating this, just like that. Then we're gonna fall up, getting into a half kneel position. If you need to, you can put a pillow underneath your knee. And we're gonna try and focus on keep maintaining a tripod of the foot. This is just basically inside ball of the foot, outside ball of the foot, and the heel having equal weight bearing. Don't let any of those points lift up as you're doing this. Then we're gonna let the knee slowly fall out like this. And then go in here. As you're doing this, don't let the foot fall up or in the other direction. Also, make sure that the hips stay straight forward. So you're not moving your hips along with like this. Hips are straight forward and you're just isolating the knee. The next one we're going to do is we're going to be in a staggered stance like this and then we're just going to sink into a split squat. So we're trying to bring the back knee to the ground and then come on up. As you can see, my knee is straight over the toes. My chest is up right here and I'm maintaining that same tripod of the foot. If this is too much or if it's painful, you could also try just a hold. If you try a hold like this, you can add some difficulty to this by just rotating. So you can put your hands right on your chest, try to rotate left and right without letting the knee move. Over time, you can progress to doing this. And if this gets easy, you can start adding a reach or adding a dumbbell in this hand or reaching across or more speed. The last one we're gonna do is a glute bridge. You land back, push to your heels, bring your hips up to the ceiling. Just like that, keeping the abs active, keeping the ribcage tucked, squeezing through the glutes. If this gets easy, you can add a band around the thighs, or you can progress to a single leg glute bridge. We lift up one leg, come on up. When you lift up one leg though, make sure that the hips aren't dropping on the side of the leg that's down. So try and keep the pelvis level, bring your hips up. 